Hello again, everyone. Deflect here from Fair Gaming. Want to bring you a new video. This is a Dragon Flight UI video on how to customize your UI. Uh, the Dragon Flight has brought some amazing changes to UI and UI customization. I'll get into all of that, but if you haven't done so, definitely hit the uh, like button, subscribe to the channel. Check out in the description, follow us on Twitch. Uh, I'll be doing lots of content on Dragonflight coming up. And then if you feel like you can uh, support the channel more, go to the Patreon and hit up the Patreon for even more support. Anyways, getting into how to customize it. They have made it crazy easy uh, to customize, which is absolutely phenomenal. This is what it needed. And this option will greatly, greatly help out as you can see, I've already been on the PTR and all this has a ton of my keybinds. So basically it takes your bars uh, that you had before and just preloads them in because I just copied a character from the PTR. But this will, what your essentially your UI could start out looking like. All you have to do is go to the menu and edit mode and you can move everything. You can take the raid frames, put them down here. You can... You know, make them wider, you can make them narrower, you can make them taller, make them shorter. Uh, you can do group, you can do horizontal, you can <laughs> you can really do whatever it is you like. You can do it by role, by group, uh, by name. It's, it's just phenomenal. You can put the borders on if you like. If you don't like borders, you can change the raid size to 25 to see how it'll look. If you don't like 25 there, you can place it here. Uh, you can, like, it's just phenomenal what you can do with this. Absolutely phenomenal. Uh, but yeah, this is just the tip of the iceberg. So, getting into this, I'll leave the raid frames down there, as you can see, because that's where I like mine. It was that easy. You can grab your player frame, you can move it. Once it's attached to the raid frame, you can actually detach it. Uh, you can put the cast bar underneath if you want. Uh, you don't have to lock it, but otherwise it's behind this right now, so you have to move it right uh, currently. Uh, but you can just move this around, so now your raid frames are connected to your player. My player menu is where I like it. You can have party frames if you like. Don't like the party frames. You can have I mine set up for cast bar encounters, all this stuff. You can have your tool tip down on the bottom. Your pet bar can be just above. Your stance bar as well is above. Um, these are just on your main menu if you like the modern one. So target and focus. If you want to move those closer, you can move them in like this. You can see this is your extra abilities. I'd rather have that locked down a little bit. Or if you want to revert the change, this is the encounter bar. This is the cast bar. If you don't like your cast bar there, and you like it more above your abilities and your encounter bar. You can reverse this as well. Everything is just drag and drop. It's absolutely stunning what you can do. Uh, if you want your buffs on the bottom, you can put them underneath your character. If you want them somewhere else, you can do that. Your debuffs, you can move those as well. Uh, so you can save it and you can pick a character name, whatever you like to save the changes. Getting into uh, what else you can do is even, even more phenomenal. We'll just do this one as test, so my cap locks on. So, what you can do with this as well is keybind. They have made keybinding so easy in this game. It's absolutely unbelievable. So, you go back in, you hit the icon, go into edit mode. If you select, uh, just click on an action bar and just quick keybind mode. That's it. You're in key by mode, mouse over any button and press the desired key to set it. Okay, well, I'll start doing um, what key don't I? Oh, so mouse over O, mouse over O, P, O, and you can cancel these, reset them, but that's all you have to do is mouse over, hit it, mouse over. I have a mouse button, so I can do mouse button one, mouse button two. This will be mouse button three, four, five, all the way up here. It's that easy to do keybinds now, it makes it very, very amazing uh so they made that even easier to make selections change selections keybind how you like uh they've also they still have the macro one so too so they have macros and you can still do all your macros your specific macros but uh 
back into the edit mode but you can definitely action bar settings so you can change them all you can have more action bars if you like you know six seven eight uh you can lock the action bars you can unlock them you can get into uh the combat so display resource hide uh, health bars you can do all that if you like Social bars, uh, you can have whatever you like in the social bar. You can have mature language filter, you can turn it off, block trades, block all that. Key bindings, quick key bind, click casting, so you can actually make mouse over macros built in now. Uh, I think these had these before, but it was not as nice as this. So if I wanted to put a quick macro in there, mouse over and click whatever button I like. Okay, let's use, oh, to do a death grip. Oops, now I made it left button. Let's not make it left button. Oh. oh I already is key bound to something, so I can't do that. Right button. Middle button. I'll leave it as middle button. You can add the binding. And you can just, it's that easy to do mouse overs for that. So when I mouse over, it will just automatically grip with the middle button. Very nice. Very convenient. Uh, they're working on the UI or the uh, frames. So you can have frames as well but they're working on that I'm so you can see it uh <laughs> i can't quite click on it because i don't have any self-healing ones if i someone else i could cast it on if i was a caster i could do the mouse over a lot easier uh what else is there the the moving the bars is pretty much the best part about this uh, just to see what, how that is, but if you had any other options, you just go into options and check them out here. You can move the keys, your keybinds, you can do the old-fashioned way, the interface panel, the controls, depends how you like it, enemy units, you can make their nameplates, stacking nameplates, definitely won't stacking nameplates, I don't know why anyone likes overlapping, but <laughs> if you do, I don't know how you play like that, but stacking is much better, in my opinion. I do larger ones. I wish it didn't uh, make the name larger. I just <laughs> made the bar larger, but I'm sure that's coming in the future. Anyways, I wanted to do a quick video just to show you the customization that is coming and how to start customizing it yourself. So it is going to be very, very advantageous to have it customized the way you like it. Uh, I'll show you one that I actually use currently. This one is not perfect, but it's what I've been um, what I've been using for the most part. And that is if I can get this one loaded in here. Gotta remember where to go to the load button because it's been a while. Ah, there we are. And that's the one I'm currently using. So I've moved everything around to my liking. I, I just like it this way a little better. This is what I'm used to kind of setting up. You know, debuffs and buffs and my, all my bars are down here. My quest logs to the far right. I I have my debuff frame over here. I don't really care about my debuffs overly a ton. I have different uh, things to signal that. But this is what I'm currently working with. So if you have any questions, leave a comment below. Like, share, subscribe. Deflect, firm but fair gaming. And can't wait till this comes out. We can actually customize them for the retail. So we'll see you guys in the next video.